Hi, this is Hodor Bino from DevilsAddis.com. Over here at Arizona State's Basketball Media Day with senior wing uh, Shaq McKissick. And uh, Shaq, just uh, tell me what's going on over here with this team in uh, Senior Day ceremonies. I talked to Bo Barnes earlier today. Um, he, uh, you know, was walking there Senior Day ceremonies like yourself. And uh, here, here you guys are uh, six months later. Uh, how, how does that happen? Um, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. You know, somehow I made it back here. You know, I'm, I'm extremely excited to, you know, um, participate in another media day. Uh, let's, let's talk about, I mean, the, the off season and, uh, you know, having so many newcomers over here and really uh, most of them, four of them actually, JC transfers, just like you were last year. Uh, have you been really taking to a different level, just the leadership, really showing those guys the ropes so to make sure they can be successful right out of the shoot? I mean, any JUCO player that comes from JUCO um, has a huge chip on their shoulder. So, uh, you know, I just got to remind them, you know, this is the NCAA. It's not it's not junior college. It's a totally different book. And, you know, I, you know, I got to. I want them to keep that chip on the shoulder, but at the same time be down to reality to know that, you know, we got a lot of work to do before the first game. Taking back to last summer, I mean, when you talk about that transition from uh, j uh, junior college to Division One basketball, what were some of the things that really you had to adjust to that now you're showing those newcomers as we speak? Um, just IQ. You know, when you come from junior college, you're here for a reason. So the athleticism shows and your skills show, but it's just, you know, IQ. You know, that's a heavy part of the basketball game. Um, you know, just reading different things. And I feel like that's the same thing they're struggling with this year because at junior college is so much more easier. You know, you're bigger, stronger than everybody else, and, you know, your IQ is much more imp improved. But when you come to the NCAA, it's a whole different beast. Now, for, for you, uh, last season, you really can uh, kind of break to, like, the first third of the season and the last two-thirds of the season. The first of the season, like a J you know, like any JC transfer, you're like a true freshman trying to fill your way around and everything. When, when that, I guess, light bulb goes on, the last two uh, um, thirds of the season, you were a different player. What, what really changed when you look back as far as elevating your game so much more the latter part of the year? Um, I feel like, like I said, every Juco player has a chip on their shoulder. So, you know, I was benched for a little bit, and, you know, that kind of hurt me a little bit. And, um, but I had that much of a chip to say, okay, I'm going to get back here. I'm going to work twice as hard than everybody else. And, you know, I'm going to get back in the starting lineup, and, you know, I'm going to contribute. And I think that's just all it was. You know, it was just a wake-up call. As far as uh, the uh, uh, JC players, um, I'm sorry, JC transfers uh, this year, just, just give me like two, three sentences on each player. Just tell me, you know, what are you seeing so far? I know the season hasn't started, even haven't team practices yet, but just tell me two, three sentences on each, on each player. What do you see from them so far that can really contribute to the team? Let's start with uh, Roosevelt Scott. Um, Roosevelt, um, quick amazingly athletic and you know he has a nose for the ball he's a good rebounder you know he can he's very athletic and I feel like his defense is going to be up to par okay. how about guard Jerry Blake Jerry Blake's very skilled you know um, he has a tight handle on the ball you know he can shoot it pretty well and um, he wants to be a floor general so that's good okay. and now uh, forward uh, Savon Goodman Savon Goodman he's just a beast you know he reminds me of myself a lot just you know a freak of nature who you know you can you can tell him anything you know he'll you know put his head down and say okay I'm gonna do it and last but not least, forward uh, Willie Atwood. Um, Willie, <laughs> man, Willie. I mean, he's very skilled, and you know, he's a very good shooter. And I feel like you know he'll he'll fit into that four spot, you know, um, really well, really well. Is any player, I mean, either returning or a newcomer, that's been kind of flying under the radar, nobody's talking about, it, and you feel that when that ball tips off, uh, he's going to surprise everybody? I don't. I mean, I don't want to give it off because, I mean, <laughs> but Chance Murray, he's a he's a new beast. I don't know. He went home for summer. I don't know what he was eating over there in Cali or what, what they had him over there doing, but I feel like a lot of people will be surprised. Um, I feel like, you know, the first the first third of the season, you know, he'll be getting comfortable, but once once conference rolls around, it's, it's going to be all on the floor for him, definitely. I know media day hasn't been uh, that long so far, but you're hearing this question time after time that the team has a lofty goal, return in advance, and obviously referring to the NCAA tournament. Everybody knows what you guys lost from last year, Jahi Carson, Jordan Bashinsky, Jermaine Marshall. Why, why do you feel this team can go ahead and just even just duplicate what this team did last year, if not take it to a different level? Um, I feel like it's just a whole new team, you know. It's a, it's a different era, you know. Um, we got a lot of new players, but it's just like, why not? You know, we got to go out there and practice just like every other team does, you know. We got to tie our shoes just like every other team does. When that ball tips off, you know, anything can happen, definitely. So, I mean, I, I, I'm looking forward to the return in advance, definitely. And last question. Obviously, when you came here last year, you thought it'd be just your only year at ASU, and you had a sense of urgency. You had like there really was no tomorrow, and you really had to go ahead and play hard, like there really is. Like like I said, a no tomorrow. Is it kind of hard to like? 
get the mentality all over again that, okay, now you know it's, your, again, your last year at Arizona State, just to go ahead and now, you know, have that hunger again, have that sense of urgency again? Um, I don't think so. I mean, those two weeks um, leading up to when I got my decision, it was just like, man, am I going to be playing overseas or am I going to still be playing at ASU here in the country? And now, you know, I'm, I'm faced with the same question for next year. You know, I don't, I don't want to have to leave the country if I don't have to. So, you know, I got that same hunger, you know, to, to, to really prove myself this year, you know, and I got a great team to do it with. Yeah, Shaquille, thank you very much. Thanks. And for Shaquille McKissick, this is Hodor Bino reporting for Devil's Digest.